I sing good one time. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning to you. It's a brand new day for music, and I'm ready to rock with you. Good morning to you. That's... Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Spiritual Breakfast. It's a great day to be alive. My name is Pastor Russ Zazik. And I'm the Kids Pastor at Church Alive, and this is Kids Alive Spiritual Breakfast. At Kids Alive, we always start with prayer. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for a beautiful new day that you have created. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins and loving us. Thank you for making us very special and unique. Uh, in your image, we're created, Lord God. Thank you so much for that. I pray that you would forgive us for our sins today so we can be in your presence and we welcome your Holy Spirit wherever we are, in our living room, our kitchen, our car, wherever we're watching this. Please come and be with us today. Let the word of God go deep inside our hearts and change us from the inside out to be more like Jesus and help us to live for you, to honor and love and serve you, God. We pray for protection, that you keep us safe from anything that could hurt us or trouble us today, God. Keep us safe and help us to learn and grow. In Jesus' name, amen. Scripture Squirrel. Scripture Squirrel, can you help us today? Yeah, but I can. Oh, I got this one now. All right, what is it? John 14, 12. Anyone who has faith in me will do the things that I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I go to the Father. Great job, Scripture Squirrel. That's such a good verse. The thought that we would do greater things than even Jesus is so powerful and so cool, don't you think? I love it. I know, me too. Can you say goodbye to the kids? We're going to do our Bible study now. Yeah. Bye, kids. I love you. All right, Scripture Squirrel. What a good helper. All right, we are talking about something really uh, that just pulls at your heart today. So I'm going to read a couple of verses from Psalms. Psalms 68.5. 
It says, A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. So a father to the fatherless and a defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. dwelling. Psalm 68, 5. And then in Psalm 82, verses 3 and 4, it says, Defend the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. So these verses in Psalms that the, the psalmist is writing are talking about people who are fatherless and weak. And God is teaching us that we need to care for the needs of, of children who are fatherless in the world. The world has lots of children who live um, without parents, who live in very bad conditions, who are very poor, are very hungry. And God wants us to care about their needs. He wants us to reach out to them. In some places in the world, um, there are ch children whose parents die of disease and so that they're left alone in the streets. There's some places in the world where the, um, the government makes it hard to have children and so children get left out and not, um, not kept by their parents because of that. And so there's needs all over the world. We have a couple missionaries that meet the needs of children like this in the world. There's, um, the, the Holdermans are going over to Mozambique and they're going to work in orphanages there and they're also going to train pastors and ministry leaders there but they're going to specifically target ch kids in orphanages and help them. Um, the Amslers minister to children all over Guatemala, um, both children in homes and children that are homeless. Um, Planet Kids is a place for, it's a church mostly for kids and they go get homeless kids from the streets and bring them in in buses and tell them about Jesus and they feed them every every Sunday and we've given to that mission several times. So all over the world there are children who need who need help, they need food, they need um, supervision, they need teaching and education, they need beds, they need uh, furniture and cups and uh, education tools. So we can have a heart of compassion for those children. God teaches us to defend the fatherless and defend the poor and reach out to help the needy. So as believers, we have a mission to help kids in trouble. And that could be something God is putting on your heart. So, so far in this, in this week, week 14, we've talked about feeding hungry people, very powerful ministry around the world, giving water to people through clean wells and through water projects, and now taking care of widows and orphans, people who um, have lost their families and they need help. And so God could get, be giving you a heart of compassion for these people to pray, to give, and to go to do something to help these people. And of course, there are orphans right here in our community. Some people do foster parenting, where they take care of orphan children. Um, some people do adoption, where they adopt children that need parents. Um, these are wonderful, wonderful things that, that help to um, make somebody's life better. So let me pray for you. Lord, thank you for this ministry and this message that you care for the fatherless and the needy. You care for the widows and the orphans, Lord. And I pray that you would put on our hearts ways that we can be compassionate, ways that we can serve the fatherless, the needy, and the poor, Lord God, and have compassion and care for them. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's put on our armor of God for today.
unsaved friends today for our prayer journal time. So think about everybody that you know that doesn't know Jesus and begin to, as I pray for my friends, uh, you pray for your friends that don't know Jesus as well. You ready? Lord, thank you for um, all my friends that don't know Jesus. Lord, I really want them to believe in you and know you so they can have eternity in heaven together with me and with you. So I pray for them right now. I pray for my friend Billy and his kids, Jackson and Caleb, help them to believe in you and know you. I pray for my friend Corey. Um, and his brother Travis and Bobby help them to believe in Jesus and to be saved and to trust in you and follow you. Um, open their eyes to know that you are God. I pray for my friend Fawad and his friend Elizabeth. Bless them. Um, I pray that you lead them to know Jesus Christ. I pray for Dustin and Amana and Owen and Leo. Help their family to come to believe in Jesus and follow you, God. I pray for my friend Rob and Melissa and Zoe and Annabelle. Help them to believe in Jesus and to follow you and to come to know you. In Jesus' name, God, thank you for all the people I know that don't know Jesus. They're wonderful people, and I love them so much. Help me to be able to share and be a witness to tell them uh, that Jesus loves them so that they can believe. In Jesus' name, amen. today but um, he was feeling a little hoarse so I was just going to come out here and give give the announcements there's uh, spiritual breakfast is at 7 30 every day Monday through Friday I think we may be moving it back to nine o'clock um, just considering what's going on with schools being virtual learning and um, just seemed like we got a lot more participation at nine o'clock as well so I think I may move it back to nine and see how that goes for a while um, so I welcome your thoughts in the comments if you think we should keep it at 7.30 or move it to 9 o'clock. Um, so just uh, let me know. I'm flexible either way. And then, uh, so this week there will be Calvary Assembly of God. We'll have in-person gatherings on Sunday at 11 o'clock. That's in Anger. And main campus is going to be online at 9 and 11. And then Kids Alive is online at 10. So tune in for Kids Alive online service. Uh, online gathering it's going to be awesome and it is BGMC week and as we're talking about all these things of compassion and ways that we can minister to people around the world don't forget to give to BGMC we are raising money for missionaries for the Holderman family we're going to support David and Debbie Amsler this year um, because some of our our missions got changed with the COVID virus um, so we want to help these missionaries that are helping children across the world so Please make sure you're giving to BGMC. You can give in person if you're at church, um, or you can drop it off at the church office at 8724 1010 Road in Raleigh, uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. Or you can mail it in, or you can um, give online if your parents want to use their, their virtual giving um, and designate it to BGMC. So that is how you can give to BGMC. We want to continue to support our ministries and missionaries across the world um, so that they can care for the needy and our hearts can go out to them. Amen? All right, awesome. I love you guys. Let's uh, pray a blessing on you today. All right, let me pray a blessing on you as we get ready to start our day. Lord, please bless and keep everyone that's part of Kids Alive today. I pray that you'd cause your face to shine on each one of us. Fill us with hope and joy and your glory and your power, Lord God. Fill us with your Holy Spirit today. Please go with us wherever we go. Speak to us and guide us and protect us from anything that could hurt or trouble us, Lord God. Surround us with your angels today and help us to bring you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job, Kids Alive. We love you and we'll see you back tomorrow. Let's sing. In everything